everyone welcome to my youtube channel in last lecture i have shown you a quick demo of this gym management system and today i'm going to show you how to design this dashboard i'm not uh, designing the login page uh, because if i design the login page in first then each time i have to move to the dashboard i have to just pass the user id and password and all okay so I'm going to design this login page at last. So what uh, I'm going to design today, let me show you. The user ID and password is admin. And today I'm going to show you how to design this and how this works. Okay, so let's start with this. First, let me create a new project. Just, it will take a bit time. I'm using Visual Studio 2012. And just go to file click on new project and after that let me gem video okay and just click on ok and it's taking a bit time Okay, you have to wait for this completion now here we go so this is form one and just i'm making it large and in the in this you have seen that we have controls over in this top and before that you have a picture in the background how to set that picture you can download it from the internet and you can set any picture so let me set first click on this form one and go to its properties just right click on that and go to properties and search for images and let me search for images here you can see this background images here and just click on this and import and just click on import and in desktop i have already placed the images so let me search for this icons and in background i guess i have put the image of this gem okay so this image i have set and i have downloaded this from the internet just open it and here you can see now this is done and just let me stretch it because if we don't just stretch it it will be in the tile format in the small square shape format and now if we start this the size of this form will be the same of this size but we need let me just execute it and it's done now here what we need to do is i want that when this form loads this is a full screen so how to do that just click on this and just go down and search for windows start and just click on maximize and just control and save it save it and just start it now here you can see the difference between the previous and this new one now it's maximized now it's working fine okay so now i want the controls here so for that i need i have used a menu strip there so just search for go to toolbox and search for menu strip just drag and drop it here and in the top you can see this now it's the menu strip and here i just want let me just keep this first one empty because i have to enter the let, let me just set this okay and after that in the second one i want to just set the new member Okay, let me first set all the names and after that I will set the icons for each one new staff and after that that's equipment and after that just set search member and after that select and enter delete member and at last i want this log out this will functional after i will add this login and so i'm just keeping it as simple as possible and i'm just entering exit so now here we go so first what we need to do is we need to add the icons to this so this loop very cool so how to add this icon just click on this and search for image 
and go to properties it's properties and here you can see the image and just click on this you can download these icons or if you want then i will provide this okay so just search for icons which i have used i have used this one for new member and just click on okay here you can see this is very small and tiny so how to make it large just go to properties right click on this and go to properties and in properties you can search for image let me just in the image here you can see this image align just click on this okay just click on this side arrow okay so it's not a big issue if sorry image scaling in this image scaling you can just click on this and set none when you click on none you can see this image became large and now it's looking very nice so in the same way do the same for this new staff equipment just follow me okay so search for image and just loading the image i'm using the same image which i have used in the previous and just image scaling none and after that for equipment let me just so like image local resource click on import and for equipment this is dumble is here just click on ok image scaling none when you just search for click on search member search for images in the properties and in the same way i'm using this where it is okay here, here we go with this just don't forget to change the image scaling and delete member select image change the image scaling and log out let me first change it to none and after that change the image select the image local resources click on import and just this one and click on ok for exit the same thing you have to repeat just select the image and I have downloaded this from internet so not an issue with that just none okay so here we go now start this and you can see the difference by yourself so it's starting okay so here you can see this now we have the, these buttons and it's looking very nice but I want the difference between these buttons so how to do that let me just close it and I want I was just changing the background color of each button so this button new member just back color search for back color and you will select here just control and go to custom here I am just giving the dark and after each one I am giving this dark one okay so just equipment go to back color just click on this arrow click on custom and click on this and just delete user same thing back color custom and this one and for exit I'm doing the same thing just click on this go to custom and just start it and now you can see the difference between these so here you can see the difference so it's actually new stuff is matching with this uh, border or, or whatever you can say this just change its color of white so back color not controller just same thing just this and let me just change this to okay so I'm changing the color of remaining buttons this color okay and just start it and here you can see now it's looking nice so now I want that when I click on this this moves to downward and at the same time it also changed the icon of within this so how to do that so for that to we have to create a click event of this to click generate a click event just double click on this and here we have the code so first let me show you that uh, where i have put in my image i have put my image on icons so just i'm just clicking this desktop and just search for icons and here you can see this i am using icon uh, 3 and let me just show you which one i'm using 3 and 2 okay so i'm using these two images 
so how to use this you just need to copy this and let me show you this letter first first we need that if let me just take one boolean value let i will tell you why i'm taking that just type boolean outside the uh, click uh, event okay i am taking a boolean b is equal to true okay. so when if boolean that it means that if p is equal to is equal to true and we just complete this uh, if else condition okay if this boolean p is equal to is equal to true what i need to do is i want that let me just show you the name of this strip this is i have used this menu strip and the menu strip design name is name is menu strip one so i want that menu strip location needs to be changed so to change this actually the place where it is it's called dock position so i want to change the dock position of this menu strip so let me just type this menu the name of that and menu strip one dot dock is equal to dock style dot left okay and let me just change the boolean value to false because it's changed to the other side and and i also want to change the icon icon of this that uh, okay so i want to change the icon of this i am just setting the image when i click on this so tool strip menu item this is the name of this menu just let me show you go to properties and name here you can see this and just set the image to this dot image and is equal to you just need to type image dot from file and in this you have to write this at the rate double quotes and within this double quotes you need to just let me just copy the address of this just copy this where you have placed the image okay and paste it within this double quotes i have placed this and after the using slash you ju you just need to uh, type the image name that is uh, my image name is image3 dot and the format of that you can just check it by going into the properties and just copy this and just set it this for, for um, in else condition and just change this talk style talk style to top okay so when first the boolean is true and then this dog style needs to be in the left and if this is false okay so let me just make it true and when it's false then dog this to top and set the boolean value that's it this one p to true and which image i want to set i don't want to set this three i want to set uh, the two i have this image in that okay so now just let me remove this text from here and it will just show you let me just show you okay so now i'm going to start it and here you can see there is nothing now but when i click on this it's moved to this right and when i click on this now it's showing an arrow so we have one problem i want this to be transparent okay so first let me change this menu strip to transparent just click on this menu strip and go to back color back color and here you can see click on this web and here you can see this transparent just click on that and now start this and now you can see this that now this is transparent when you move this nothing is changing and now it's looking nice so i want that when it loads there is an arrow showing downward so how to do that this the for that we need to just code on this form load event just double click on this form one to generate the load event and at the same time you just need to set the image let me set this and just start it and see what image loads so actually it's wrong image just change its name to two okay so now start it and here you can see 
this showing arrow to click on this and this will move downward okay and this showing that when you click on this this will move this side okay so yeah, i hope you understand what i, I have to teach you today and in the next lecture i will i'm going to show you how to design this new member um, form let me just show that how i'm going to do that here you can see let me just start this this is actually a complete project today i have shown you how this is working and in the next video i'm going to show you how to design this and all these stuff okay so that's it for the today's video thanks for watching and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you need the source code please comment your email id in the comment section thanks